Hey guys, Ben here with another Pokemon card opening. Um, as you can see, this is part two of this booster box. If you haven't seen part one already, I'd recommend you go watch that because it was actually pretty good. Uh, the first half of this box was not, not bad. Um, I'm not sure how many poles are left in this side, but I would imagine there's still quite a few. At least a few good ones. Um, the set so far, I mean, it's, it's been great. It's no complaints. Probably one of the best sets to come out in the last couple years. Um, certainly better than a lot of the Sun and Moon ones, even a couple of the other earlier Sword and Shield ones. So, so far, great set. Um, yeah, we have 16 packs left. I'll go ahead and pull those out. See if we can't get some more good cards. Let's see, I'll do... Eight and eight. Yeah, let me uh, know what you guys think about this set. Do you like it? Do you think it's better, worse than other sets? Same. <laughs> I would like to hear your thoughts, cause in my opinion, it's great. So let's go ahead and now uh, let's just start getting these open here. Also, the cool thing about this set, at least in my opinion, is the uh, the value. You're getting. Um, doesn't seem too hard to get your money's worth if you had bought these for a, a decent price when they first came out. Unlike other sets where you have to get like the chase cards just to break even, but this set seems okay. Talo, Yanma, Whooper, Dedene, Quagsar Reverse, Rare, nice, and a Jolteon non holographic. Pretty cool art on this guy. I don't think I got this one yet. It's also a pretty big set. I think it's roughly close to 200 cards, or maybe a little over, with uh, secret rares and all, so. Large. And bigger than average, I think. Certainly much bigger than the, uh, the holiday sets, like Champion's Path and whatnot. Okay. Just don't make fun of me, guys. Actually, you know what? Do make fun of me. I deserve it. <laughs> wow, why was that so hard? I've never had that kind of problem opening up a pack before. <laughs> uh, I'm already getting old. Oh. <laughs> KO'd my camera there, too. Alright, Fighting Energy, Zebra Striker, Exadrill, Nuzleaf, Fanpy, Yanma, Meowth. Duskull, Voltorb, Alistair Reverse, and a Leon Holographic. That's pretty cool. Wouldn't mind him as a full art, or a rainbow, or hyper rare, I guess. I'll just leave him up there. Keep the hollows there. There we go, see that one? Much easier. <laughs> Trim my nails or something. They were uh, putting some effort in their heart. Fire energy, go goat, Carolis, stone energy, Rayalu, Sandile, Whalmer, Weedle, Beldum, Carolis reverse, and a Zekrom holographic. Zekrom is one of my favorite legendaries as of the last few generations, for sure. Really cool looking Pokemon. It's like a big electric dragon. Weird. My uh, camera shut off there. <laughs> okay. Water energy, aromatic energy. Here is Metal, Hitmon Top, Execute, Chatot, Clawpus, Skidoo, Shuppet, Aracuda, and a Lycanroc. Not holographic. Cool art though. I like that. Those crazy eyes. <laughs> this looks ferocious. Oops. 
Okay, Dark Energy, Cramorant, Nessa, Nuzleaf, Pickapack, Choodle, Ryolu, Chimeco, Nenkata, Krakarok Reverse, and a Yon Mega, the old Dragonfly. I feel like I'm opening these packs a different way each time. <laughs> uh, I think I'd be better at this by now. Grass Energy, Opal, B, Dubot, Weedle, Driller, Clefairy, Whalemur, Tynamo, Duskull, Steelix V. <laughs> I like Steelix. I haven't seen him much recently in many sets, but uh, I'm glad this this set is bringing back a lot of older ones too, which is great. And there's an Alakazam too, which he hasn't seen a whole lot of, well, you know, popularity recently, even though people like Alakazam. Okay, let's get this guy sleeved up. A nice Pikachu sleeves. <laughs> it's right there. But yeah, the, um, a lot of older Pokemon from like the first and second generation that uh, used to be printed a lot outside of the um, starters don't seem to have gotten a lot of attention recently, even though there's some of the coolest Pokemon in the, uh, the whole series. Like Steelix. Maybe I've just been missing them, I don't know. Dark Energy, Aromatic Energy, Mighty Yenna. Pinkerchin. And I know that, you know, they have to make room for the newer ones, too. Obviously, the new, the new generations are kind of the whole point of the, like, sword and shield. Meowth. Cottony. Moo Moo Cheese Reverse. And a DNC. Really cool looking card. A lot of pink. A lot of purple. <laughs> Alright, well, we're, we're getting a decent amount of hollows so far. One Ultra Rare. That was, uh, eight packs, so... So far, at least every other pack for the hollow. That's not bad. Yeah, we definitely did not use up all of our luck in the first part. Maybe some of it, but not all of it though. Stone Energy, Milsery, Whooper, Nenkeda, Whismer, <laughs> so much tears. Drober, Jolteon Reverse, that's pretty cool. Love me some Jolteon. And a Lycanroc again. Alright, well, we got a duplicate. That's alright, though, they're bound to happen. Yep, we'll just keep on. Keep on keeping on. Keep on making new ways to open up packs, because I still can't figure it out. Galvantula. Whoop. It's a Go Goat. Everyone loves a Go Goat. Wyndham Stadium. Clefairy. Whalemur. Dynamo, Execute, Chatot, Clefable Reverse, are you not, oh, yep, yeah, you're rare, cool, and a Red to Rock Holographic, very nice, I don't know why they only chose Red to Rock, I don't think the other Reggies made it <laughs> into this set, and now we got those two new ones from the, uh, latest Sword and Shield DLC, so I would imagine those guys will be getting cards pretty soon. Possibly in the newest set that comes out in uh, February. Memory Capsule, Go Goat, Aracuda, Nenkeda, Pikapek, Puchiana, Rockruff, Dreadnought Reverse, pretty cool, and Aegis Slash VMAX. Full art. Very nice colors. An old ghost steel Pokemon. I do like Aegis Slash. It's pretty cool. I am okay with him. It. Whatever it is. Alright. Very nice. Actually, let me uh, 
rearrange these a little bit here. <laughs> Give the spotlight to the better pulls. There we go. I know they're just normal hollows, but uh, they're still hollows. Back in the day, hollows, normal ones were, uh, you know, <laughs> all you could get. They were the best. Nowadays, normal hollows are just like, okay, whatever. Normal cards. Electric. Kakuna. Loudred. Fanpy. Duskull. Electrike. Pineco. Mudbray rolling around in the mud. Doing what it does. <laughs> Sableye Reverse. And a Lucario. Cool looking art in that one too. Wouldn't mind a uh, Reverse Hollow with him. I don't think I got one yet. Well, that pack opened nicely. Not all of them do. Alright. Psychic Energy. Duot. Aromatic Energy. Heroes Metal. Beldum. Blitzel. Milsery. Skidoo. Eevee. Love that background. All the shooting stars. A Rocky Helmet. And another Jolteon. <laughs> well, that makes three. All together with the reverse, too. So I'd say I'm okay on the Jolteons. I do believe the reverse one, though, was uh, worth a little bit of money. Maybe like a dollar or so. Fighting Energy. Hitmontop. Crocorock. Delmines. Trubbish, Shuppet, Chootle, Ryolu, Eevee, Hitmontop Reverse, and a Alcremy. Alcremy? We'll go with that. Alright, we got five packs left. All in all, not bad. I think I still might have a couple of uh, Ultra Rares left to pull. Might even have an Amazing Rare. Sometimes come a couple of bucks. We'll see. Nuzleaf. Memory Capsule. Girafferig. Ryolu. Chamico. Ninkata. Voltorb. Rockruff. Wooper Reverse. Orbeetle V. Yep, there we go. Old, uh, crazy scientist bug Pokemon. <laughs> This one made me laugh in the game. It's just, it's so menacing for how small it is. It just looks like an evil scientist. So that's cool. Did not have one of these yet. So, you know. I will always take those. Alright, we'll move you back to. Ultra rares up front, guys. You know the rules. Also wouldn't mind a, uh, the Charizard reverse. That one's actually worth quite a bit for just a standard rare, because it's, it's Charizard, and I guess apparently it's pretty good too. Because it's Charizard, I guess. I don't know. I'll make the rules. <laughs> Rocky Helmet, Alistair, Matang, C Dot, Electric, Clefairy, Fanpy, Yanma, Milsa Reverse, and a Ninjask. Well, that's some uh, interesting artwork there. What's that guy doing in the background? That is creepy. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna move on from there. <laughs> I wonder how many artists they have for Pokemon. I gotta have quite a few to be able to pump out these many cards, different arts, every single set. Electric, Delmines. I know they use arts too, so it's not like they're always original. Stunfisk, Whismur, Trubbish, Tynamo, Clobopus, Woobat, Woobat, and a Lugia rare. Very nice. Did not have one of those yet. Look at that. Everyone likes Lugia. <laughs> 
And like I was saying before, the amount of uh, like legendaries that are just normal rares in here are pretty crazy. Exekroms and Lugias and whatnot. I'm glad they're bringing them back even as just normal like hollows. They don't have to always be an ultra rare. So that saves up, you know, spaces for other ones that might get some spotlight. Water energy, Kakuna, Moo Moo Cheese, Sableye, Meowth, Duskull, Voltorb, Weedle, very cute, Drover, EV Reverse, very nice, and a Metagross. Yeah, I have not got one of them either, so we're uh, definitely filling up the, uh, the set. <laughs> Alright, last pack, guys. Can we get something good here? Can I not destroy the pack? Probably not. I'd say I might, uh, might might have something here. I mean, we got three. Three ultra rares, so maybe. Maybe. Fighting energy. Shuckle. Cramorant. Drone Rotom. Whalmer. Cottony. Clodopus. Electric. Execute. There we go. Zacian. Amazing rare. Sure enough. God, these look so cool. The holographic energies. Little amazing rare symbol down there at the bottom. So many sparklies. Guys, look like a, a paint palette just exploded in the background. <laughs> Uh, Zashian's pretty cool though. Very nice. And a Flareon, not holographic. Well, that was a fine pack to end on, I will say. Did not have one of these, definitely. Very cool. Well, uh, yeah, that was actually a good box, guys. I will put up the uh, total for this video as far as prices. And then I'll even add up the last one, even though if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend it. But we'll see if I broke even, made some money, lost some money. I think it's pretty close, though. Um, yeah, so uh, I did buy some more Vivid Voltage because it's such a great set. So look forward to some more of that next week. Probably a whole box as well. And I even pre-ordered, or I guess not pre-ordered, but I ordered some of the uh, Japanese set Shiny Star V. I know some people are getting it already but I'll be getting mine probably next week. It looks like a, a crazy set. So many cards, so many shinies, Hidden Fates 2.0 times 2 kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy.